invitation to offer is indescribable gift. No one to start this morning or have a major technical difficulty. Okay? So who knows what's going to work? Okay? <laughs> so just bear with me. I'm trying to run this to my iPad because our computer's updated. All the time we want to update. We can't change it. But we'll see. Jesus is signing.
good God and do good all the time. And dear Father, we thank you for this first Sunday of Advent, the Christmas season. And I pray that you will speak our hearts today in a powerful way. We love you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I want to tell you this opportunity to welcome everyone to be with you this morning. Uh, just a couple of minutes later, starting today, we are having uh, major problems upstairs. I had a video planned in just a moment. We're not going to have that. Uh, you hopefully will know the words, uh, Oh, come, oh, come, Emmanuel, because the words won't be on the screen. Um, our computer's just doing uh, bounce around, and we just can't get it figured out in uh, these short minutes. So just uh, the thing about it is just bear with us and go with the flow, and Jesus is in the house, and he'll be speaking today and uh, speaking through his word, and so uh, we're going to do the best we can. Amen? Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Uh, I do want to say thank God for the, uh, for the Supreme Court decision this week. Uh, as they ruled in New York, and you said, well, we're not in New York, but that goes across the board. I'll guarantee you, if the Supreme Court had ruled the other way, uh, this would probably be the last Sunday we'd be able to meet uh, in church. Thank God that they ruled in favor of religious liberty. Amen? Amen. Praise the Lord for that. And our most recent justice broke the tie, so praise God for that. So uh, we're grateful for that. Uh, just a few things. Uh, we do have a finance uh, team meeting this Tuesday, and uh, about the 13th of December, uh, you will have a copy of the 2021 budget. And we will, uh, our plan right now is to approve that budget. We'll have it in your hands three weeks, and we will approve that budget, affirm it on the first Sunday in January. We just, uh, this year being so unusual, that's just the way it's got to work this year. And so just bear with us, but you'll have the budget uh, uh, two or three weeks in your hands to pray over it and think about it. And, uh, and then we will affirm it in uh, early, early January, first Sunday in January. Uh, this week, uh, we do have, uh, uh, let's see, a couple of events. Mike's Farm will be on Friday. Uh, we have um, 17 or so going on that trip. Uh, Christmas dinner at Haylight. And you know all the details of that. And then it's Saturday. Uh, we are not having a cantata this year like we have in all previous years, but we're going to have a Christmas concert band Mitchell Jr. And if you'd like to just get a taste of his music, Google him um, on uh, YouTube, and he has a channel there, and you can listen uh, to his beautiful music. He writes a lot um, and, and does many of the classics and that will be on Saturday uh, from 5 to 6 p.m. A love offering will be received uh, for him on uh, Saturday as well. But uh, that's going to be a great concert. Very talented. And um, he'll play the piano and sing. And it's just going to be a great, great time on Saturday. Uh, also, coming up in December, Christmas Carolyn, that will be December 16th. And this year we will be doing uh, houses of uh, many of our shut-ins. And so uh, I hope that you'll come out and be socially distanced and uh, they'll be inside the house and we'll stand out in the yard and sing this year. Uh, they may invite us in, but we're not going in this year. Uh, we'll stand outside and sing. And so uh, that, that's coming up. Uh, and uh, if they won't keep the door shut the whole night, they can. Uh, still here, so I will say loud uh, uh, for them to hear it. So, okay, so we'll be doing that uh, this year as well on the 16th, uh, game night on the 18th of December. And we've got, uh, it says drive through, but that's not uh, correct. Uh, it's going to be a drive 
in um, drama. A Savior is going to drive in drama. You'll actually come in part, and the drama will be performed in front of you. So uh, that will be on Sunday, December 20th at 4 p.m. And Young at Heart on the 29th. So even in an abbreviated month, we've got a lot going on. And I hope that you'll be a part of as much as you can. And uh, it's going to be a great uh, Christmas season. And I praise God that we're here at the first. Uh, I, made a, I made a comment this week. I said only 35 more days. Well, today we've got less than that. But at that time, 35 more days in 2020. Lord, 2020 is better here. But you know, God is able to get honor even in 2020. Uh, even as bad as things may get, uh, you know, we always can see God at work. And so I just want to encourage you with that. Don't forget Lottie Moon. I'm supposed to have a Lottie Moon video right now, but it won't be played. Is it going to be played? It is going to be played. They got nothing going. See, when I came out of the booth, uh, it, uh, they did a job up there. <laughs> so, so praise the Lord for that. Uh, so we're going to watch a live room video. And and uh, remember, our church going to issue $2,500. So uh, give anytime time you can. But the Sunday before Christmas uh, will be our main focus. But... Uh, watch this video and be encouraged and then since they got a video, we're going to have words on the screen as well.
we treasure Jesus and his gospel above all. But let us remember, we are not called to hoard the gospel, but to herald it far and wide. We are not called to stockpile the gospel, but to send it forth to those yet in darkness that they may see the light of Jesus Christ and live. are 
in a circular direction, uh, and that's every candle connected to the other, and that represents eternity. And we know that those that are in Jesus live forever. And so today we come to the first candle, and the first candle, as you see on the screen, represents hope. Jesus is coming. Uh, they were looking forward to the coming of Jesus. Of course, we know that he came, but they had hope that he would come. And we have hope today. Uh, those that place our trust in Jesus, that we will live forever. So the first candle represents hope.
thanks so much. Uh, I want to say a special thank you uh, to the ones up top there, the singers. Uh, a lot of times uh, things don't go like we planned them to go, uh, but they worked really hard and under a lot of pressure uh, to get uh, everything uh, on the screen. So thank you so much uh, for all that you do. Uh, today, Matthew chapter 1, and uh, I probably will count out in Matthew for the next four Sundays. Um, uh, today, and three more Sundays, uh, we'll be in the Gospel of Matthew chapter 1 today, and I'm going to read, I know the bulletin says 1 through 17, but I'm reading 1 and 2 today, so let's stand as we honor the Word of God. The Bible says the historical record of Jesus Christ, the son of David, the son of Abraham. Abraham fathered Isaac, Jacob, uh, Isaac, and Isaac fathered Jacob, and Jacob fathered Judah and his brothers. And then it goes all the way down to the end and talks about 14 generations. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, I pray that you will speak to us this morning. Get me out of the way. May Jesus be high living in all that we do, all that we say, all that we are. Lord, it's about you. And I thank you for every single one of these names. A lot of times we just kind of uh, skim over these names or, as I did today, not even read uh, through uh, verse number 17, all these names. But every one of them is significant. And I pray that you will teach us today. In a powerful way. Get me in, get me out of the way as you always do. And may Jesus be high and lifted in everything we said and done. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You may be seated. Today we start a brand new series of Christmas messages, and it is the most wonderful time of the year. I was reading the other day about a little boy, and children are so honest. And he had received a Christmas present, and he was writing back to his grandmother, and he said, Dear Grandmother, thank you so much for the wonderful Christmas present. It was almost as good as the one that I wanted. <laughs> thank God we have a Christmas present in the Lord Jesus Christ. He's not only the one we wanted, but he's also the one that we needed. In Matthew chapter 1, you find the genealogy of Jesus. And uh, we're going to be looking at this today. I don't think I've looked at this passage all that many times in all my preaching years. Matthew's gospel was written to a Jewish audience, uh, a primarily Jewish audience. And Matthew wanted to prove to the Jews that Jesus Christ of Nazareth was the promised Messiah. And so you'll find many references to the Old Testament passages in the Gospel of Matthew, and you will find many occasions whereby uh, we see Jesus fulfilling prophecy. In fact, more than any other Gospel, you will find that Jesus is proven not only to be the Son of God, but to be the Messiah. Even the great old saying, a verse song this morning about Jesus Messiah. When you write a story, I was thinking about this, you want to catch the audience. I mean, initially, uh, uh, you need a catchy beginning, don't you? I mean, when you write, you want something that took off the page, especially in the first few pages, so people will read the rest of the book. Well, if you were trying to make maybe not so much in your mind, Matthew 1, but if you were trying to catch the attention of a Jewish audience, this is exactly how to do it. You see, family lineage was significant to the Jews. Uh, they kept their genealogies in the temple for safekeeping. That's why the human genealogy of Jesus was never challenged, even by his enemies. 
the son of Abraham, but he's never mentioned as the son of Adam. In the Bible, there are two families, the family of Adam and the family of Jesus, who's called the second Adam. If you look at the genealogy of Adam in Genesis 5, you will find a recurring phrase, and he died.
want you to see the ministry of Jesus in this prophetic family tree. There are three sets of generations. Abraham to David. David to the carrying away to Babylon. And the Babylonian captivity unto the birth of Christ. Three generations. Or three sets of generations that are proposed. If you turn to Matthew 24, you'll see that Jesus says, when you see the budding of a fig tree, this generation will not pass away until all these things are fulfilled. When you see the budding of a fig tree, know that my coming is near, is even at the door. Thank you. 